Hey guys, Mike Henry, Master Plumber and Ream National Technical Trainer, and I want to talk about thermal expansion tanks. And I know some of you guys have these tricks and tips to find out, you know, is, is this thing, is it good, is it bad, is it not working? Uh, I want to kind of address why do they fail, right? So how do we put them in correctly? Well, we have to know what the customer's water pressure is, and once we know that, then we're going to in, uh, we're going to put that much air pressure into the other side, so they have to be equal. If it's 45 PSI, we need 45 PSI of air. When we put it in correctly, like that, uh, we'll have a water side and an air side, they'll, they'll be equalized. When you start heating the water up and it gets bigger, it has the, this rubber diaphragm will expand over into the air side because you can compress air. Um, when they fail, it's because the guy that put it in didn't put the correct amount of air pressure in here and that rubber diaphragm has, has been pushed over way too far. It's stretched beyond its limit and it's no good anymore. And that's what causes them to, uh, to fail prematurely.